I now am open for questions from the audience. Yes. Polygamy is an interesting subject for me. If it could be guaranteed that it were actually based in love, I have no problem if people want to have multiple sex partners and it truly is based in love. However, at least 95% of the cases of polygamy on our planet are based in fear rather than love. They're about controlling women and controlling relationships. Yeah, uh, in, in your Mormon life, uh, how did it go? Uh, was uh, the husband with one wife at a time, or did you guys have group activities, or how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I get that question a lot. In this particular religion, it's, it's not your orgy. <laughs> it really is one wife at a time, and each woman has her designated night, depending on the number of wives that a man has. Yes? If gratitude is a gateway to abundance, according to your book, how do you inspire your audience to be grateful? You know, I'm glad you asked that. I, the entire first chapter of my book is called Begin with Gratitude. What I found during my midlife crisis, or what I now call my midlife rebirth, is that in order to even begin rebuilding my life after my entire life crashed around me, I needed to find a, a way to be grateful for something. And it began for me with a sunrise and realizing that I was grateful to have the eyes to see this beautiful sunrise. And once I realized that that was something I could be grateful for, I started seeing other things that I could be grateful for. Once I started practicing gratitude, I discovered how incredibly abundant my life actually was. And from that perspective of abundance, I started attracting all of this beauty and all the abundance that the universe has to offer. And as long as we walk through ingratitude, we're blocking our own abundance. Yes. No. What I find is that at the core of every religion are spiritual truths. And there are some practices in the Mormon religion that are beautiful. One of the reasons that people stay in the Mormon church is because of the family values. The people are incredibly kind and the families are incredibly loved. Their entire religion is based around eternal families. That is beautiful. There are some beliefs within the Mormon religion that I think are very hurtful. It's, as with all religions, there is light and darkness. Yes? I've noticed in my life that most people believe that their beliefs are the truth. How do you recognize the difference between belief and truth? By the way, it feels inside. If it feels, if, it, if there's any fear attached to it at all, if you don't do this then, that's a fear-based belief. Truth feels no, like nothing but love. It is this warm, loving presence that's within you. And when we learn to recognize the difference between ego, which is fear-based, and truth, which is that gut feeling intuition that we have inside of us, I mean, every one of us have this inner guidance system. We just have been following our mind, our egos, and our fears instead of listening to what is really true for us. It's about how it feels. Yes? If the spirit is an aspect of each of us that has never been hurt, harmed, or in danger, how would you define spiritual abuse? Spiritual abuse for me is these dogmatic beliefs that are fear-based that actually prevent us from connecting to spirit. That spirituality, that spirit, that soul that's inside of every one of us is blocked or blocked by having access to it by fear itself. And that for me is, is the abuse. Yes? Um, 